My name is Bev Feldman and I am the face behind Link Couture and I help busy people jumpstart their jewelry making hobby and feel confident in their new skills. So I currently live in about a 1200 square foot condo. I don't have a dedicated space to work on jewelry making and I had to deal with this a lot in my previous space where I just had a corner of my bedroom. So I discovered that, you know, while the kitchen table was really big and worked at, it was a nice big space, it wasn't really conducive to eating and making jewelry because if you're making jewelry, a lot of times you want to be able to lay out your stuff and then maybe come back to it later. So I thought what happened was I created a organizational system that allowed me to make jewelry on the go and easily organize my, or contain at least, all of my supplies. I use the word organized lightly because as you'll see in a moment, it's not the most organized. It is a little messy, but um, while I'm organized in terms of all like project ideas when it comes to physical stuff, I'm a little less organized, but it is contained. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of walk you through what I use to organize all of my supplies. So the first thing is, is when I was making jewelry on the go was I found having a, like a folding tray, like this one's from Ikea. It's like one of those breakfast trays you use on your bed was really handy for making jewelry on the go. Basically, you know, gives you a nice space to put it on your lap. And then what I would do, I would lay down a piece of just regular fabric felt on top of it. And that would prevent the beads from rolling all over the place. The beads and jewelry making supplies. And then I could put all of my supplies on here and they would be contained within the space and then I could easily move it around my home as need be. So that's the key, the number one key to making kind of a portable jewelry workstation. And then on top of that, having a way to contain all of your supplies is really helpful. So I have kind of two main components to that. The first is Sterilite containers. Um, I, I brought this, I always brought this container with me when I was doing jewelry, when I was selling my jewelry and I would have it shows so I could put all of my pliers in there that I might need, extra jump rings, kind of some little extra supplies. And what I like about it is um, there's these small trays and you can always add more on later and they clip apart you can rearrange them even the lid like you can decide which one you want to be on top and they have ones as you'll see it's a mess but I need to organize it um, some of them have these little tray compartments which are really good for um, separating out your various supplies and then there's also trays that are just one big tray which I found were really helpful for storing all of my pliers in Kind of the tools that took up a little bit more room. So it's something I use at home and I would use it, I would take this with me. The other part of this was, is had a slightly bigger storage container. So this thing isn't massive, but it has, an, it's another Sterilite container and it has a, you know, a little clip on lid. Um, and then I can store all of my supplies inside. So one thing I shared, and really, I'm really big on repurposing and trying to avoid buying new things if I don't have to, both to save money and from an environmental perspective. So I like to hold on to like pasta jars and whatnot to store supplies. You'll see this one. I made it look pretty, but that's because this was before I had kids and I had time. Um, but I, you know, can, you can label it. You can use a Sharpie or any other marker or whatever to label your jars. And then I have little baggies of assorted jump rings inside of here. Um, I have ones labeled with like crimp beads um, and, and findings. So like a jar for ear wires and whatnot. And so just inside I have lots of containers it, again it's not pretty but it works like this is not a Pinterest worthy organizational hack um, it's a practical hack you can also use little food jars for holding on to beads and little loose ends um, and then you can kind of keep it in your sterilite container and move it or your container a box it doesn't matter and move it around your house as need be it doesn't take up that much space like I could fit it right under my desk where I'm working right now and my desk is not very big now, one other thing that I also really like 
I do like these little beach containers, um, the clear plastic kind, because it's another way to organize your supplies. It's compact and very easy to take with you. So it's very noisy. Julie are making supplies make a lot of noise. So that's it. That's just a little a visual summary of how I organize my jewelry supplies and make it so that I can easily move them around my space. So it's really good if you don't have a dedicated workspace um, to do to make jewelry and you want to keep everything contained and prevent little people, in my case my children, from getting in. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. So you're always welcome to shoot me an email at Bev at linkator.com. That's L-A-N-K-O-U-T-U-R-E dot com. And if you're brand new here and you're interested in learning jewelry making, I have a really, I have a free video course that's for beginners that will help you go from a pile of jump rings to a completed pendant in about five minutes. And that is with my video course, Jump Ring Jewels. And you can get access to that I will leave a link to that. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you another time. Bye-bye.